Welcome, everybody, to the Keeping Score podcast from the Daily Interlake and Hagedone Sports Network. I'm Josh Amick. This week on the Range Riders Recap, I will discuss the up and downs to the two series they had with Missoula, what to expect in the final weeks, and some old faces being reinstated to the team. So without further ado, let's get into it. In Game 1 at Missoula, Kingston Liniak hit two home runs, including a grand slam, to lead the Range Riders to a comfortable 17-6 win over the Paddleheads Tuesday night. Liniak hit his second and third home runs of the season in his ninth game played and finished the day 4-for-6 with eight RBIs. Eight out of the nine Range Riders starters recorded a hit on their way to an easy win. In Game 2, Gabe Howe launched a two-run homer over the left field wall in the second inning, and the Glacier Range Riders picked up a 5-3 win. It was Howe's ninth home run of the season and moved him closer to the all-time Range Riders home run leader behind his teammate, Christian Kirtley. Game 3, Adam Fogle blasted his Pioneer League record 33rd home run of the 2024 seasons, and the Paddleheads defeated the Range Riders 13-6. Fogel bested the modern Pioneer League record set in 2022 by Paddleheads player Jason Newman Todd. Ryan McCarthy homered for the Range Riders and Kingston Liniak went 4 for 5 with three doubles in the loss. In game four, the Paddleheads hit three home runs to power them to an opening road series win over the Range Riders 14 to 5 at Glacier Bank Park Friday night. Fogel hit another home run, adding to his record breaking total, and Jerry Hunsinger homered for the Range Riders for just the second time. This season. Saturday was my game of the week as game five was a good one as the Rangers got back into the win column with an eight to four victory. Drew Sims went two for three with three RBIs and four Range Riders pitchers combined for seven scoreless innings out of the bullpen. Andy Atwood also had a big game going three for three with four RBIs, including a bases clearing triple in the bottom of the fourth. Noah Owen, Aiden McAvoy, Nick Zinga, and Ricky Tibbet combined for seven shutout innings to help the Range Riders secure the win. On Sunday, the Range Riders' comeback attempt fell just short as they lost their final game of the series 12-8. After joining the team on Tuesday, Ty Bothwell made his starting debut and pitched four innings, allowing five runs. Bothwell pitched at Indiana University and was spending his time in the Collegiate Summer Ball League before joining the Range Riders. I got here Tuesday, so... Tuesday. Yeah, haven't been here long, but you know, starting to get accustomed to the, the great scenery and all the, the great things that you know they provide for us here. So, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Christian Curley hit his team-leading 18th home run of the year, and Liniak went yard again for his fourth home run of the season. The Range Riders loaded the bases in the eighth inning, down 12-3, to and cut the lead to 12-5. to With the bases still loaded, the next two batters were retired to stop that rally. In the bottom of the ninth, they loaded the bases again and sent the tying run to the plate down 12-8. Ryan McCarthy barreled up a pitch, but unfortunately, it was right at the right fielder to end the game and the rally just short. That's it for this week's scoring recap, so let's get into this week's edition of In Case You Missed It. As mentioned in previous weeks, Liniak rejoined the team this year after playing for the Range Riders in the 2023 season. Let's listen to what he said that process was like rejoining the team. There really isn't a situation better than this. I mean, the clubhouse is amazing. The people here are amazing. They're real. I mean, you wouldn't expect it in Kalispell, Montana, but everyone here at the game who watches like is into it. They actually know what's going on. I think that, I mean, being around friends, of course, is nice, but it's like this is uh, every single kid that I think I've met, at least position player wise, has been an affiliated ball. So. I think that really adds another aspect to it, just like the talent and the competition, you know. Bothwell is hoping to make an impact on a revamped Range Riders starting rotation. He joins Patrick Wicklander, Jared Ingman, and Noah Owen as some of the new starters on this team that have been added within the last couple of weeks. Drew Sims also made his return to the lineup. He was placed on the ineligible list back on May 30th and missed last year with the team due to an injury. He has appeared in three games and has gone four for seven as a DH and a first baseman, not his normal role as a catcher. That's it for this week's Range Riders recap. The Range Riders played their final three games at home against Billing Mustangs starting on Tuesday before heading on the road for their final nine games of the season. They will host a playoff game on either September 10th or September 12th once the second half standings become clear. For the Keeping Score podcast, the Daily Interlake and Hagedone Sports Network, I've been your host, Josh Amick, and until next time, 
Take care.